Hi, welcome to Uncle Monty and Skull Crushers Adventures in Van Life. Um, what we have here is a 1967 Chevrolet G20, so three quarter ton van. Um, when we got the van, it was pretty rough. Um, did it have an engine, Simon? No. No engine. So it didn't have an engine, it didn't have a transmission. Basically, it was just a shell of a van. Uh, had all the windows, that's a plus. And I mean, it was just enough there to want to restore it. First thing we did when we got it, we cut out all of the rotten rockers. I got uh, over five gallons, that's like 20 liters of dirt out of the bottom, out of these panels. We made new rockers and we put in, we made them by hand. Uh, I could do a video on that sometime if people are interested. And then we welded them in. We still, and then we just painted them with whatever paint we have to keep them from rusting because we knew it'd be a while before we get to any kind of body work. Since then, it's been quite an adventure. Um, found wheels, still got old junky tires, but we're working on that. Um, we got the rear end re-geared. So we did have a 411 rear end. Now it's a 342. So that'll help a lot with cruising when we're trying to go down the highway and not being at a thousand RPMs. But, um, so everything's looking good coming together. We went through the entire suspension. One of the front leaf springs was broken. So I'm waiting on one of those to come in. Uh, but we, we got one, found one to replace it. Rear ones were re-arched, put back in. Rear end re-geared. All new brakes, all, all the brakes are new. Brake lines are new. Brake master cylinder is new. Um, we ended up picking up an engine, a V8, uh, with a, 3, it's a 327, it's like 5.3 liters, that just yesterday we got it in. Obviously it's not running yet, um, but uh, I mean, it ran before we put it in, but we just got in the van, it's not running right now. Our goal right now is just finish up the brakes so that way you can actually stop when we're towing this around to the backyard. Um, but yeah, we'll give you a tour, tour inside. So this thing had no interior when we got it, no front seats, no nothing. So we ended up getting new seats. So we went to the junkyard and we found this old blazer and the blazer seats fit perfectly in the car. Yeah, we had to make some brackets so they had set on because we didn't have any of the bracketry to fit these, but we got the seats in, <laughs> that's, that's a plus for that. So here's the back of the van. Uh, here's all the other parts that we got from it. And those seats that you see back there, uh, we got those first and they did not fit at all. So we're planning on uh, bolting them down to the back of the van. So here's the engine right here. Uh, we still need to do a lot of work to it, but it's coming along real nicely. But the interior is all looking good. The floor wasn't too rusted. In the back here, our engine originally came with this three-speed transmission on it, but it has the wrong tail housing. So I, we would have had to have fabricated a, a transmission mount under here. So we ended up, I found a guy with a correct transmission for these vans. He sold me the whole transmission, which ended up being good because we found out being a three-quarter ton van, it had the larger flywheel, which was a larger clutch and everything. So we ended up having to do a lot of swapping with the transmission. It was it was a real interesting deal. Starter had to be changed, everything to go to the larger flywheel for this thing. So um, that's what you're looking at back there. But overall, the interior pretty pretty Spartan. Sorry for the bad lighting, but this is the transmission we had, and this is the only transmission I know of that has a. The tail shaft has a top mount like that, but three-speed transmission, we're, we don't have a drive shaft yet. That's what came with the transmission. Move to the back. You can see our new fuel tank. You can see the rear end that we had re-geared. The, the emergency brakes are working, parking brakes, so everything's looking good. Got to run some fuel line back there. And yeah, we're just about done on the underside of the van. So you can see the the wheels we got, the tires are all trash, but give you a walk around the front. 
<laughs> those are the heater hoses that you see in the front and some miscellaneous cables. We're still looking for windshield wipers. We still got to get a mirror. But this side here, it's hard to get you back there and show you, but I think someone tried to make this into some sort of a camper van because I had a whole bunch of holes cut in right in here that would have been like probably for a propane stove or something. I don't know, but they got all these screws in up here. I got to pull those out, weld those shut. Skull Crusher has a lot of work to do. Then you can see on top, there's a vent. Ignore the broken uh, garage door opener. Skull Crusher let the magic smoke out of it. Thank you for watching the Uncle Monty and Skull Crusher show. Please like and subscribe and we keep you updated.